Hey, this is Lucas here today, and I'll be doing the flight review and final thoughts on the Hobby King Slow Stick Plug and Fly. The Slow Stick design and moniker have been around for many years, originally produced by DWS, along with their numerous other incarnations of Dosh Ugly Stick. The Slow Stick, as is appropriate given the name, is widely renowned for its ability to fly incredibly slow, due to its huge wing area and light weight. Hobby King's rendition of the slow stick not only delivers on that front, but on many others the original slow stick could not, at least not without many modifications. The new Hobby King slow stick can turn on a dime thanks to its generous barn door style ailerons. It can fly just as slow as the original despite a slightly higher flying weight and is infinitely more durable thanks to its EPO molded wing and tail feathers, compared to the GWS's thin molded Depron parts. It can also handle much higher winds thanks to its brushless power system and less draggy wing design, which can be attributed to having less under camber in the wing than the original slow stick. Combine the ailerons, new wing design, extra power, and more control authority, and the Hobby King slow stick is capable of rolls and even inverted flight, something one would never have dared try with a stock GWS slow stick, and Hobby King's rendition pulls it off with ease. To start, let's talk about how the new Hobby King slow stick is constructed. It's built in very much the same fashion as the original GWS model, using a square carbon fiber tube for the fuselage and molded plastic brackets to mount the wing, servos, etc. The Hobby King model features much sturdier landing gear than the original, using tough five-spoke plastic wheels with foam tires and eighth-inch music wire. Probably the biggest improvement construction-wise, though, is the molded EPO wing and tail feathers. This makes the flying surfaces much more resilient to crashes and also much stronger in flight, resulting in less flex and more accurate control. Hobby King's version also features a bolt-on tail, which is much quicker and easier to assemble than the GWS model. One thing that irked me as far as construction is the fact that the very strong carbon fiber fuselage tube is built in two pieces, split at a very critical point and joined with a plastic coupler. This eliminates a lot of the strength in the aft section of the fuselage and will certainly make a break in, say, a cartwheel and landing much more likely. Moving on to flight. Taking off with the slow stick couldn't be easier. Line the model up into the wind, throttle up smoothly, pulling back on the elevator, and the model takes off pretty much straight away, usually in less than 8 feet, if that. It can also take off from grass or pavement easily. I fly almost exclusively at the local soccer fields, and the grass is generally between 1 and 2 inches high. Since this new version has ailerons, it's very easy to fly around with just the ailerons and elevators for those who may be stepping up to a 4-channel model from a 3-channel. But things get much more fun when you coordinate the rotor in as well. It makes the model turn very quickly without ever disrupting lift, so it's very docile and forgiving. The slow stick is most content putting around about half throttle on a calm day, with the occasional big barnstormer style loop or stall turn. Speaking of stalling, it's nearly impossible to make this model stall in a reasonable flight attitude, and when slash if it does, it very gently drops the nose, never hinting at dropping a wingtip. The most fun I have with the slow stick though is flying around at a spirited pace very close to the ground, nearly skimming the wingtips in the grass through turns and skimming the wheels across the tops of weeds. It has to be pretty calm out to do this as the model is bumped around by turbulence quite easily due to its low wing loading. But skimming the grass like a bush plane was the most fun I'd had with such an inexpensive model in a long while. Also, doing practice STOL, or short takeoff or landing, is great fun if it's a bit windy. Landing with next to no rollout is very easy in a 5 to 10 mph breeze. Also, the model can even hover, flying into only a 6 to 8 mph breeze. And all this with flight times regularly exceeding 10 to 12 minutes on the recommended 2S 1300 milliamp LiPo pack. 14 minutes is about the max I'd recommend after putting 1100 milliamps back into a battery after 14 minutes of mixed flying. One issue I ran into though, this model has a tendency to dive very aggressively, such as in entering a loop where you might want more airspeed than the motor can provide. After you initiate the dive with slight down elevator, it tucks into a near vertical dive very quickly, kind of a mock tuck effect but not related to airspeed but instead angle of attack. As for flying inverted, this plane can do it. It's not too crazy about it, but it can be done. Planes with undercambered airfoil such as this can rarely fly inverted at all. That said, the Hobby King slow stick does it quite well, all things considered. It takes a fair amount of down elevator to keep level flight inverted, so you may want to program more down throw than up in the elevator if you plan to fly inverted a lot. It can come in handy to get you upright quickly if needed, as the ailerons are not as effective when inverted than when upright. Landing the slow stick is a non-dramatic affair, just be sure to be landing into the wind as it's very easy to get blown off course or catch a breeze under a wingtip if trying to land crosswind. 
this model pretty much automatically lands in the three point position. I tried to get just the main wheels down first, but there's really no point. You'll just muddy up what could have been a smooth three point landing. The Hobby King Slow Stick is a good airplane for pilots of all skill levels. It can provide endless fun flights for just about anyone. It can be slow and docile or spirited and fun. It's perfect for a beginner to RC or an experienced pilot who just needs something to keep in their trunk to break out on their lunch break. It's good for just cruising around or just doing silly things with because it can take the abuse and come back for more. This particular slow stick isn't perfect but at its price point it has a lot of bang for your buck and it's just plain fun. Everyone should have a stick of some sort in their hanger and this one from Hobby King fits the bill perfectly.